Hello everybody, it is Friday and that means it's Savings Challenge Day. I already had an intro filmed and was editing this video and said, you know what, we need a new intro. We are doing Savings Challenges today, but I am back and forth and my phone interrupted me and I forgot things and I made lots of mistakes. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching this mad chaos on a Friday. All right, let's jump into this. And what do you guys think of my new hair? You know what I love about this? I kid you not, it's the afternoon. For anybody that doesn't know right now, I'm on night shift. So I literally got out of bed and ran a comb through my hair. I know it doesn't look amazing, but if I would have done that with my long hair, you would have been seeing hair everywhere. everybody so we've got our savings challenges here we've got several we've got our savings challenge binder so the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and take out our money and you'll notice that there is some money that is paper clipped so let me talk to you guys about that first so the money like I said I've got two different stacks here and I have, well, I've got two, one stack, but they're paper clipped twice. I've got some extra money in here for hubby that until I do his budget, I am not sure if he can spend it or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab out the money that I know he can spend. There is $9 in here that has been budgeted for. So there we go. That one is out and that is going to be his money going in. This other money, there's $62. Like I said, I don't know if he's going to have enough money to allow this to stay in the savings challenges or not. And of course, when you do savings challenges, you're not supposed to ruin your budget. It defeats the purpose. We've got our fat stack of cash here. We've got our savings challenges. We've got our savings challenge binders. This is my main savings challenge binder, but I decided to go ahead and add some of the savings challenges into this binder as well. So I've got my scratch offs in here. I've got my monthly savings challenges. I also have my accomplishment savings challenge in here. I have not started that one yet for the month. And let me tell you guys what, that is a mistake. So my friend Shannon from Kitchen Shenanigans um, created an accomplishment savings challenge, which when I did it, I wanted to read every day. I believe I read 28 or 29 out of 31 days since not doing it. I think I've read twice. So your girl's going to get back with that. And also speaking of my friend Shannon from Kitchen Shenanigans, I wanted to let you guys know that we have a collab live coming up or a panel live, I guess you could say, on Monday. We're going to be doing this on Monday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So figure out what your time zone is and there are going to be six of us. That's right everybody, six people. I'm so excited about this and let me tell you about how this started. So most of you guys know that I am very good friends with Aaron from Aaron Twibbles Around Aimlessly. Aaron suggested that we do a, a live collab about mental health, life, budgeting, anything like that. And I said, that sounds like a great idea. So she had the idea, but she of course is like, but you need to host. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. So let me tell you who we have gathered for this amazing collab. So we have Aaron from Aaron Twibbles Around Aimlessly. We have Shannon from Kitchen Shenanigans. We have Jesse from Jay Wackers. We have Tasha from Mind Your Money and Taylor from Taylor Budgets found the time to join our collab. So Taylor is number five and I am number six. So we're going to have six amazing women on this live. We are asking that if you have any specific questions um, about anything that you would like to ask any of us, right? I mean, we're doing mainly mental health, but as we know, mental health deals with everything in our life. You guys know if you've been watching my channels that I've definitely been, blah, 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 I can't even talk. I've definitely been having some struggles. And um, if you haven't subscribed to the other ladies that I just mentioned, they have a lot of stress and life in their lives as well. They've had some things happen, whether it be health related, losing family members, depression, things like that. And a lot of times this gets swept under the carpet and we're doing this live to help somebody to um, have a good time. Of course, this is not going to be a humdrum, um, you know, sad live. If you've ever been to one of my lives before, you know, it always turns into a lot of fun. So I will put the details down below. I will also put the other five women that are going to be joining this collab down below. So let me get back into the savings challenges. And I'm sorry I digress, but I'm super excited about this. And it's short notice. So we are just putting it all together this weekend. 
weekend, we are going to um, have it premiere. So there will be a premiere that you should get notified for. All right, so back to our savings challenge binder. So accomplishments, gonna start that one again, and I've got the scratch offs. So we're gonna need this as well, but let's go ahead and start out with our savings challenge right here, our March savings challenge. This is from my friend, Maury, and Maury Timmy, and she has the two channels. I mentioned that last week, so if you haven't subscribed to Maury, make sure you head on over there. You know, as I say, run, don't walk, get subscribed, check out her channels. She's got on her other channel, she's got a budgeting channel, and then she also has another channel. Um, she does cleaning videos and stuff, and I just love it when people do that. I just, I like doing them. I've done one or two, but I just, oh my gosh, there's so much work. So for anybody that does them, you know, hats off to you. So our goal right here is $20 a leaf. So we're gonna go ahead and color in one of our leaves here. Well, uh oh, I didn't think about that. It says $20 a leaf, so maybe it's supposed to be more than what I was doing. I was doing $20 a shamrock, which is where I'm gonna keep it because that means that this will be $100. But if it is $20 a leaf, right? Wouldn't one of these little heart shapes be considered a leaf on a shamrock? Then that would be $80 times five and 80 times five is what? That would be $400. So the good thing about these savings challenges is, you know, the creators can give you a guideline, but you really get to decide whatever the heck you want. And of course, if my budget was tighter or if I had more money, I could create this and make this whatever I wanted it to be. This $100, once I have it for the month of March, is going to go to my debt snowball. You guys know that I have kind of fallen off of the track of paying my debt off because I've gotten into all of these fun savings challenges and doing traveling and buying stuff I don't need. So I'm trying to take a step back, get back to getting some more money to my debt snowball. And of course, for me, the last debt that I have is my car. I did just do a blue book on my car. And I'm excited to say that right now my car blue book 7,500 more than what I owe on it. And I've also been doing some research on getting a different car. So don't, don't hate me, right? Don't throw your hate at me if you see that all of a sudden I have more debt than what I did before. So we're going to go ahead and grab a 20 and put a 20 for that. This one is going to go into the savings challenge envelope right here. We're just going to go ahead and pull this out to make our life a little bit easier. These printable envelopes are in my Etsy shop. These ones right here are specifically with a bundle, but if you ever see anything that you like, just ask me. I can usually create a listing for you. So today is 311. We're going to be adding $20 in. And so that's going to give us $40 for this challenge. We also have our Chris Budgets challenge on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this envelope out and then we've got Chris Budgets next. And for anybody that hasn't followed Chris Budgets, what are you waiting for? She is hilarious, love it. Her husband, I tell you what, I just watched, I think our most recent video and her husband edits her videos for her. And man, that guy did an excellent job on this last one. He just puts these little funny things in there and I just cracked up. So we're gonna go ahead and just put $5 in here. And I do wanna let you guys know that this is Chris's birthday month. So she has a code that you can save money in her shop all month long. Her printables are only a dollar. So I chose not to use the savings code because of course part of the reason why I buy these challenges from everybody else is to help pay it forward and to help support other people. But this challenge right here amazed me. For a dollar, you get several different challenges, and she just started filling in her birthday challenge, and that's one of the ones that you get in the March bundle. So if you need a birthday savings challenge, if you like getting challenges for each and every month, then Chris may be your girl. So to save a little bit of time, I'm not gonna color in the full coin this time. While I love yellow, I mean, I just decorated my bedroom, right, in yellow and gray, it's not my favorite color to color with. What about you guys? It's like, it's hard to see, and maybe I'm just getting old. I mean, I've definitely noticed that with my sexy librarian glasses. For anybody that doesn't know, I have these because, well, yes, I'm blind. Um, I basically had to transition to glasses for the older generation <laughs> because my vision change so much and I can't see to read, right? I'm one of those people that started holding the menu way far out or as I tease my uh, friend 
from work, Miss Carol. She has her phone set to where the text messages are huge and I just love it because I tease her. So $5 is gonna be going into here. You guys know I just get Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. So for anybody that isn't used to me and my Gabbiness, yes, this happens all of the time. And it looks like I'm getting a phone call, so I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I am back. And so if the video is looking a little bit different, that's why I went and answered the phone. And so Chris Budgets, I don't remember what I was saying, but she's amazing. We're gonna go ahead and add this in. What I did was I took the $5 bill out, added it into my stack and grabbed a 10 just to save us a little bit on the change. And of course, this right here is going to be going into our uh, office space. Um, myself and my sister-in-law, Shannon, who has the Etsy shop 307 Design Studio, which is where all of my stickers come from, have rented an office and uh, things, you know, we want to get some stuff, right? We want to get some things and stuff. Shannon got some curtains and a few things, but we need some tables, right? We need some desks and we're not talking about spending a brand new and, uh, you know, buying brand new or anything like that. And of course my phone is going off, it's driving me crazy. Okay, back again. So that one's done. I'm sorry, you guys, sometimes doesn't your phone just drive you absolutely insane? All right, then we have got our no spins. And I can't remember if I decided on the last video what I was gonna do with these or not. We know that I was gonna do these by the weekly basis. And I can tell you this, for the first week, I only had one no spend. So my no spend was on Sunday the 6th. And yeah, that is it. I can't remember what I was going to do with this money, you guys. Did I tell you? Did I decide? So one no spend, not amazing for your girl. But we know, you guys, if you watch my budget videos, you know how things are. So we've got one no spend. We are going to go ahead and pay it at the end of the month. So we're not going to actually have any money added in for this one right here. So I think what I'm going to do is think about it for the rest of this week before we check in the next time and then figure out where it's going. So we will get that done very, very shortly and figure it out. But this is from my girl, Alicia at Hands and Bands. So if you need some challenges, she is your go-to because she does amazing. She's got this no spin. I'll also use her scratch off challenge here in just a minute. So then we've got Australia. And I know our Australia tracker is off because when I pulled it out for my check-in, I noticed that I hadn't colored in my little chart. So let's talk about this gorgeous money right here. A huge shout out to my friend Carolyn from Caro Cash, who does an amazing job. And I am so happy to have this money in here. It's just beautiful. So this is our Australia fund, which also was our honeymoon fund. So, uh, ha ha, so excited because we have combined them. For anybody that doesn't know, we um, had a honeymoon planned and because of the big C, because of all the pandemic, it got canceled. Everything got canceled. So we took all of our honeymoon money and we paid off debt. So, I mean, everything happens for a reason. And I truly believe that was the reason. So we're going to color in two of these this time, you guys. We're going to go ahead and add $40 into Australia this week. We've got to get there sooner rather than later. We've also added in our honeymoon money to Australia. So that's why we have those two beautiful trackers in our Australia fund. So let's go ahead and grab $40. Let's see, what do we have in here? We're going to go ahead and grab a 50, you guys, because we have a 10. So we're going to grab a 50. So let's check this out. We added in $2,200 from the honeymoon. Super, super excited about that. And that gave us $2,464. So today, as I said, $311. We're going to go ahead and deposit. And we are adding in $40 this time. So that means everybody that gives us 2504. So let me show you something. This tracker right here, I had put this $400 sticker on. We're actually going to take this cash. We're going to get it to the bank. We're not going to let it sit in here. Whoa. 
Well, that sticker is way harder to get off than I ever thought it would be. I probably won't be adding any stickers onto those again because I don't want to ruin them. So anyway, what I was saying is I'm going to go ahead and take this $100. I'm going to get this put into the bank. We're going to grab a sticky note and we're going to put this into our sinking funds for Australia. So that means we have got $2,500 in the bank for Australia and our goal is $10,000. So we're 25% there. We need to start amping up our money to get our butts to Australia sooner rather than later. Oh my gosh, this is just, look at these. Aren't these just beautiful? Okay, I digress. So 2504. Oh my goodness, everybody. Stop what you're doing. I forgot my newest challenge. I printed this out. I had it ready to go and it was sitting right next to me, like right over here, right? Totally forgot it. I am so excited to join my friend Tasha in a collab for a savings challenge for Mother's Day. This is something that she invited me to do. I'm so excited. It's called Mom's Heart. I love the design that Tasha has done. And so Tasha, her YouTube channel is Mind Your Money. She also has Tasha Loves Life. And so check her out and then look at this awesome savings challenge. What I love is you design it for you. So if you color the heart red, it's $5. If you color the heart blue, it's $10, right? And I don't know about you guys, but I think you could color in one heart or two, right? So we've got four, eight, 12. So you've got 24 total hearts you could use. So if you did 24 blue, you could have $240 there. Then she has a bonus section down here. She says down here, she says, in this section, you can save an extra $160 towards Mother's Day. Challenge yourself to use any unspent money, unspent spending money or utility savings. So you could save yourself a lot. How many of you guys do stuff for yourself for Mother's Day or for your mother, your grandmother, maybe your mother-in-law, your sister-in-law, anything like that. Let me know what you guys do. Um, for me, I normally don't do a lot of stuff for myself for Mother's Day. I would normally um, buy my mom something, things like that. And unfortunately, I have now lost my mom, lost her in 2020. So it's been about a year and a half. And so for me, I kind of shied away from Mother's Day, but I'm excited to join Tasha in this challenge. So let's go ahead and get this challenge started out. And let's Let's go ahead and start with 10 bucks, right? I mean, if we're going to do it, let's do this. Oh, and so I per I pull what I think is blue and it's purple. You guys know I was just looking for purple. Uh, am I colorblind or what's going on? Here we go, blue. So we're going to go ahead and color in our first heart. We're going to make it blue. We're going to go ahead and color in this front one right here. If I can draw, we'll be doing good. Well, not draw, but color. And my desk has some texture to it, so we might end up with some weird stuff. This is my antique desk that I absolutely love. I think I got an amazing deal of the day. Got it for 50 bucks. I saw another desk that looked almost exactly the same on our local for sale site, except for my desk, they have painted it green on the bottom. And mine definitely has like an antique door on top. But they basically were the same thing. Mine was 50 bucks. The other desk, I think they wanted 200 or 250 So needless to say, I did not buy it. But so as I color this, you can see the texture coming through. But I don't think that's a bad thing. Do you guys? So what are we going to do for this savings challenge, right? So we've got $10 that we are going to need to grab on out. And we are going to go ahead and create an envelope for this one. But I have not done so yet. So for right now... We're just gonna take that $10 and we're gonna put it right there. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and create myself a little tracker to go along with it. So uh, let's go ahead and get back to the video now. Right now. So Australia now has over $2,500 in it. We are 25% of our way to Australia. And also, we actually are farther than that because some of our other savings challenge money is going there as well. But I digress. So here we go, hands and bands again. Like I said, she's your girl, man. I tell you what, if you want some savings challenges, if you want some printables, if you want some scratch off challenges, she is the first one that I personally saw doing the scratch offs. I know that you know they probably were other places first, but she was definitely the first one I saw. And now I see all kinds of people are doing them. And 
you know, that's what happens, right? Everybody has different versions, things like that. I got up because I realized, again, I forgot to grab my box for my 100 envelopes. So uh, let's go ahead and grab our 50 cent piece. I've got all this stuff in the way of my 50 cent piece. You guys can hear it, right? Oh, there it is. Okay. How many circles should we scratch today? Hey, I have a fun idea. What do you guys think? Should I roll a dice to see how many things I should scratch off? Let's do it. We're feeling a little bit crazy today. So we've got five circles left on this one. And so let's see. Let's roll this dice. We're going to combine, right? Because my friend Ira over at Budget with Ira has those amazing dice challenges that I love. I just saw a giveaway on Without Limits Budgets. Go check her out. She's given away some of Ira's things if you haven't checked her out. And, you know, there's just something about using a dice. All right, so let's see. Are we going to finish this one all the way? Two. We're going we're gonna to do two this time. We're going to finish off that top row. Ooh, we got $7 there. So seven, Whew, making a mess everywhere. Seven, and then we're gonna do this one right here. Seven, all right, we're gonna do $9 today. Ooh, I kinda like using the dice, you guys. Of course, you could go through challenges super fast if you had a six every time, but that was fun. So $9 we need. Now, what kind of change do we have in here? Oh, we got change. So five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Go ahead and grab our scratch offs and add the nine dollars to it and let's see how much money we have here now this scratch off challenge this entire sheet right here is being used for the office space right and now the next time i can tell you guys it's going to go towards something different so we've got 20 30 35 40 45 46 47 48 49 50 one, two, and three. So $53 going towards the office space, whether that's for a little bit of decor or furniture, I do not know. All right, one more challenge done. Oop, and then here we are to the 100 envelopes. We've got our 100 envelopes right here, done by Cassie J Budgets. And of course, I know the great thing about these, you can make these yourself, you guys. They don't have to be fancy, they don't have to be laminated. Go to the dollar store, get a box of 100 envelopes right on the front of them. Boom, you got your challenge right there. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna pick out two. So I have no idea, I don't know what that one is and I don't know what this one is. We got 82 and 45, Woohoo! Got some big ones there. So let's go ahead and color these in. So 82. Oh, let's do a different color besides green. Looks like green because of March has been my color. So let's grab this yellow that I have out. So 82. And you know, you guys, I've been trying to think of what I want to put this money towards. This challenge right here is one that is just mine. And depending on what I do for a vehicle, I'm kind of thinking about putting it towards my vehicle um, because that would be the best financial thing. But then my heart says, no girl, you need to put it towards Australia. <laughs> and of course my hubby and I try to keep travel the same or close to, you know, to where we each put in money. But what do you guys think? When this is done, should this 5,050 go to Australia so we can go to Australia or should it, should I be responsible and should it go to my debt? Let me know, vote down below. I think I might add something to my community tab to get some votes and see what people think. So 50, 70, 80, one, and two. This is a lot of money in this challenge. And just so you guys know, we would not be able to travel to Australia this year because we already have a Mexico trip planned and a Vegas trip planned. So that's pretty much our travel for this year because you only get so much vacation time, right? And then we've got 20, 40, and five. We're getting there. I mean, we still got a lot of envelopes to go. And, you know, here I am looking at all this cash sitting in here going, hmm, I'm still debating because I know a lot of people like the 100 envelope challenge because then you get to take all the money out and count it. I'm still debating about putting you know, maybe once I get to, let's see, how many envelopes do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 envelopes. I was thinking maybe once I got to 25 envelopes, I would count it all and put it into the bank. 
and just keep those envelopes not in the box. Maybe do it every 25 envelopes. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yet again, another question. You guys know me. I'm always thinking way too much. Piggy Penny Challenge, we only do this on paydays. Then we've got our Saveopoly that only gets done on paydays. Actually, our yeah, Piggy Penny and Saveopoly both get done on pay, paydays. So now we have got some other funds to do. So this one is done. So Saveopoly, like I said, on paydays, we've got the $1 challenge, the $5 challenge, the $10 challenge. We've got our month ahead and our emergency save. So right now we're just gonna do one, five, and 10. And we need a colored pencil. And you know what we haven't had yet is purple. Can I find a purple? This looks kind of purpley. Oh no, it doesn't, that's not purple. There's a purple. That's not even purple. What is that, like rose or something? Oh well, that's what we're gonna roll with. So let's go ahead and get this ones done. We're gonna go ahead and have Hubby put $4 in the ones challenge because he's got them, one, two, three, and four. And remember when I told you guys that we had other money that was going into Australia and the honeymoon? This is one of them. The other one that is a challenge is our roundup challenge. So every payday when my Hubby and I round up, that was going into the honeymoon fund, which we have now put together with the Australia fund. So every dollar here, every five, every 10 is going to get us closer to Australia. So let's add these four in, one, two, three, four. So we should have 10, $11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. Then my hubby is one, five. So let's go ahead and get that put in. And to make life easier, we're not gonna worry about putting those back in the envelopes. So a one, five from hubby. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a five too. So let me go ahead and grab a five. Do I have a five? Ooh, I don't know. Do I have a five? Oh good, I do have a five. Oh, I got a couple fives in there. Okay, so two fives. I definitely like, I believe it was Tasha from Mind Your Money that said, yes girl, color in the whole dollar bill. It looks better. So we're gonna go ahead and count all these fives up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. So see what I was saying about there's more money in Australia, truly. Then we've got our 10s. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab one 10 and put it in here. And let's see how many 10s we've got. We've got... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Not too shabby. All right, everybody. And that is it for me today. I've got to get the money put back. We've still got some good cash. This is our second week. We did take a good hit with our uh, 100 envelope, but that's okay. We have the money here to put it into the savings challenges, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put my hubby's money right there. And the next time, will he get, yeah, he should get paid before the next time. So I should know if we're going to be able to use that for savings challenges or not. If he's not able to use that, then guess what? The life goes on and bills get paid and everything is A-OK. -okay. Again, I want to remind everybody to tune in to our live on Monday, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Check your time zone calculator if you have to. I know that the time zones for everybody can't work. I know some people are on the East Coast going, oh man, that's nine o'clock. I go to bed at nine o'clock. Or some people on the opposite coast over there in California are going, oh, that's six o'clock. I'm still working at six o'clock or I'm on my commute or whatever. We tried to find a time that would work for most people. And of course, don't forget, we've got our Australian budgeter, Miss Erin, who is going to actually be doing the live in Australia on Tuesday morning. So we hope to see you guys on Tuesday. Until I see you guys again, remember to keep on smiling. Bye everybody. Bye.